They don't have money, but they're funny, and they're coming to your country. They're the back of pack bandits. The trip is booked. Last minute flight out of Kenya, booked. We're leaving tomorrow. I did not expect this. My money landed today, March 9th. Tomorrow, March 10th, we will fly to Ethiopia. And then Sunday, Saturday, March 11th, we will be in Turkey. Tell us what happened this morning. So today is March 10th. I'm sick. I got sick last night. I got a runny nose. I'm coughing, sneezing. Also, the phone that I've been waiting on to be delivered here to Kenya finally arrived yesterday. And we bought our tickets to leave today. We are in Diani Beach right now waiting for our Uber to come pick us up to take us to the city so we can get it. But I don't know if I can get it now because I spent all the money on the plane tickets. So now I don't know if I can pay the duty fees to get the phone and my cards. And I might have to come back to Kenya. Africa keeps pulling me in. Every time I come to Africa, I get boop up. I get boop. I get booped. No, we're going to get it. Don't worry. We're going to figure out a way. So also the taxi drivers are trying to scam us again. It's hard. I lost money today. I canceled all my classes. We're going to be there Saturday morning at like 4.30 a.m. It's going to be a long day, a lot yeah. of travel, a lot of stress. This is almost as stressful as leaving Turkey. Now <laughs> getting out of Kenya is going to be super stressful. It's been a learning experience like I never thought it would be. Yeah. And uh, I had a great time. How do you feel? I had a good, great time too, as much as I complain about some of the stuff that we will talk about later. I had a good time here. It was Let's a good see. honeymoon. You know, yeah. the honeymoon ends when you go back to the country you came from, so sorry, it's over. It's over. No, it's been, this is the longest honeymoon in human history. Well, Seven months well, or eight months. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. But it's over now. Hello bandits. So as you heard in this episode, we are going back to Turkey. We rushed to the central post office to get Simon's package, which had an iPhone and his credit cards. I think we paid around $100 to get the package, but I'm definitely sure that the officer pocketed some of the money because I didn't sign anything or got a receipt. But hey, at least we got it and that's all that mattered at that point. Anyway, so finally got my package. <laughs> It's been a month. I've been waiting for this for a month. This is from my mom, but my mom also got gifts for acting. And yeah. my phone is in here, my cards. Thank I'm you, so Mrs. Happy. Hill. Thank you, <laughs> Mrs. Thank you. Why am I saying Mrs. Hill? Thank you, mom. Thank you, yeah. Mombasa. I want to thank the Academy. I want to thank the director. Okay, Paul Ryan. we don't have I time wanna, for that. I want to say we're, we're late. trying to get inside and the Mombasa International Airport it was about five dollars to get here from the city in about 20 minutes yeah and uh, I have to pee really bad because I'm about to explode so we're here waiting for our flight from Ethiopia Airlines. That was the longest check-in line I ever experienced. And Simon just proposed to me. Again, you know, I have to put a ring on it every time, every time. So, that's a flight out. Addis Ab Wait, how do the Italian say it? Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa. Do you think they're gonna give us food in the first flight? Because it's two hours. They might throw you a sandwich until you shut up. So far, Ethiopian Airlines has impressed. That's impressed. What do you give them? Ethiopian Airlines, 8.8 out of 10. Long check in line. Doesn't seem like they have a lot of staff. The plane is clean. The food looks good. Everybody's nice.
and I are in one of the oldest countries on earth. We're in the airport in Ethiopia. Where's the injera? Give me injera. Looks good. Yeah, it's a nice big airport. So even though we're only here at the airport in Ethiopia, even the airport feels very historically and culturally intriguing. Just in a corner shop, you know, we got this authentic coffee, which smells great, looks very nice. And also people here are very pretty too, Relax. just in general. Relax. That's like, really good. Is it like Turkish coffee or what? It feels more American than Turkish coffee. So it's filtered coffee. Yeah, but it's also very rich in taste. I like that. It just feels like a very luxurious, like, filter coffee. Really? Okay. Do you want to take a sip and try it? Yeah. See, I don't like coffee that long. <laughs> okay, it's not for me. It will wake you up. It will definitely wake you up, but it's definitely more bitter than I, I like. But it's okay. I can understand why somebody would say it's good coffee. We made it. <laughs> we barely made it. So we're back in Istanbul after all that African sun and it was rainy. And in this episode, you'll see a lot of me and my friends because I was spending a lot of time with them after nine months. And Simon was sick and he also was working a lot. Tell us what's I'm happening. I was surprised my friend. She saw me through the camera from down there but well, maybe she doesn't know <laughs> I love it babe what? trying out Kenya uh, coconut chips today <laughs> the name of the brand is Chan Taste. Let's see what you think about it. Mm, it smells so good. <laughs> I, I'm not a YouTuber, so I'm not using this shit. <laughs> what do you think as a Turkish girl? Mm, it's good, but I, I thought it would be crispy. It's not crispy. Uh, but it's good. What do you give it out of 10? 7. Okay. Because of the crispiness. <laughs> Today we are trying this South African wine. It's called Durban Wool Hills. And it's what? Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes, please. And it's from uh, 2018, so it's awesome. Which <laughs> <laughs> my It's a very Sour. bitter wine, but it's not it's bad. It's still there, huh? Why is it so much? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Basically, I was just spending time drinking and catching up with my friends. After a couple of days, we flew to Marmers, which we spent around three months to recharge, save some money and just rest. Oh, and we also got married again. We did it more so for the party and celebrate with loved ones because the first time was like a court wedding. Anyways, we also took a little trip to Olympos, Antalya, which you will see in our next video. So until then, ciao!
Come on. Open it. <laughs> it's moving. It's the, the jar is moving. 